It feels like a we're all together. Uh, I look. It looks like my. Uh, have you ever guys ever seen Multiplicity? It looks like my other, my clone is actually in the stream. That's pretty cool. I saw Dave McRae's clone earlier too. It's, it's pretty cool. Sometimes you know. Sometimes it, you, you're so busy that you need a clone to go out there, and and you know, help out, right? And uh, that's uh, Multiplicity is a really funny movie. That, yeah, that is the straight version. I'm the gay version. Okay, and they're both good. They're both good, right? It's okay. The gay ber the gay version of me is cleaner. All right, I take more showers. I I take care of my health. I eat right. And the straight ber version of me is a, a big old fucking mess. Okay, Adrian James, I'll answer that. How are you feeling now that you are fifty? I was, you know, I guess it's sort of like when I found out I was going to be a grandfather, and the the idea of it, I guess it scared me. But then when it happened. Um, I wouldn't like, I would not ever go back. Like, it, you know, every Saturday I see Delilah and it's just like the greatest thing ever. Right. She brings me so much joy, so much happiness. And, um, I'm hoping that's what 50 does for me. You know, um, I think if anything, when you hit 50, you start thinking about, um, the clock, you know, and you start thinking about trying to make the most out of every minute that you have, because we all have, you know, when you think back, it, 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 when you think on it, it, we all have a certain amount of time on this planet. So we got to do the best we can do with what we got. You know, we got to go get it right. And it's never too late to go get it. It's never too late to go get it. I didn't start this journey, this YouTube journey until I was in my forties. I was 42. Yeah. I think I was 42 when I started YouTube. And I, at that time I thought I'm, it's way too late for me to be doing this. You know, you got these young cats that are in their 20s, early 20s, and they're killing it. They're doing, you know, this is back at my thinking back in 2015. And I was just thinking, I don't have the talent they have. I'm kind of an old geezer, you know. Uh, maybe I'm a little too out of touch with things going on. I had all these, you know, a top 10 list of reasons why I should not do this. I should not make a channel, you know. And one of the biggest ones was I'm too old. I felt like I was too old. Um, now looking back, you know, I'm 50. Bring it on. You know, I got more in me, right? I still feel healthy. You know, I think when you get older, you start thinking about what you eat and then, and, and, you know, what you drink and um, what time you stop eating, I guess, at the, at the end of the day. That's stuff I didn't think about 20 years ago. Maybe even 10 years ago, really. But now, you know, you start wanting to take better care of yourself. I'm not I'm not saying I'm a freaking health nut or anything. I still, you know, um, treat myself from time to time. But I talked way too long about that. <laughs> but, yeah, you're as old as you feel. Thank you, Polly. That's it. I still feel like that kid. I still feel like that little kid that was like 13 years old. And my mother pops in my room and said, hey, let's go, let's go to the store and get you something for your birthday. I still feel like that kid, you know, inside me. It's weird. Age ain't nothing but a number, guys. It ain't nothing but a number, right? Keep on keeping on. Guys, and be honest, you know, if you do this, that's fine. All right, if you do this, that's fine. But um, and some of my old friends in there might be able to relate to this. But do you get annoyed when you see like everybody has a cell phone up at a concert? You know, like, and here's the thing. Here's the test. Like when you're on YouTube and you're looking for live clips, I don't know about you, but when I see a live version of a song that's through a cell phone and granted, there's some decent quality cell phones out there, but do I really want to be at a concert and hold a phone up for four minutes just so I can put it on YouTube? That's the first problem. That's the first problem. But the second thing is, if I want to watch live footage of a song, I definitely want it to be like, you know, professionally produced footage, right? I, it's hard for me to really get into a cell phone version of it. So, I, I, you know, and I'm not knocking people. I get it. You're there. Some people, it might be their only concert they ever go to or the first, like that's Metallica. That might be the first time and only time they'll ever see Metallica. They feel like they have to get that phone up there. They got to put it in front of their face and they got to, you know, they got to look at Kirk Hammett through that phone. That that would get, that's what makes them happy in life. All right. 
I don't get it. I really do. And I can, and you know what? I'm putting my money where my mouth is because I've been going to shows uh, for la- the last 30 years. All right. So as soon as cell phones started creeping in, I was still going to shows. And I'll tell you right now, um, I, I rarely put the phone up unless like I've done like blogs and you can find them on my channel. But even when I do those vlogs, I'll hold that phone up for maybe, uh, maybe like less than a minute for a, a song just so I can put it on the vlog. But if I wasn't putting a vlog together, then I, I don't even hold my cell phone up. I just don't see the point in it. I want to just be immersed in the, the performance and I just, I enjoy the show that much more. All right. And I know I sound like an old geezer, but man, I guess, you know, a tip from your uncle Lee, when, when you go to your shows, think before you lift up that cell phone, think, you know what? Am I really going to watch this? Like, am I really going to watch this? I might t- check out like, and I probably won't watch all of it. I might like, oh, I'm flipping through my phone. Oh shit. Yeah, that's right. I did. I recorded that. My phone's out of space, so I need to delete it. Yeah, let me delete it. Okay. And so, yeah, and then you, you're never going to enjoy it. You know, you're never going to enjoy Because most people don't even look at pictures of their kids on their phones. You know, they might look at a, like, uh, you know, 5% of the, the pictures that they, t- they take of their kids, you know, because it's not that they don't love their kids, but they would rather be there with their kids and have that time with them. Same thing with a concert. All right. Put the phone in your back pocket and just enjoy the freaking show. Because uh, I do miss the time before cell phones when I used to go to shows. Like, I saw Metallica and Guns N' Roses in 1992. Both bands were at the freaking tip top of their fame. And they were both in their, like, 20s. They were young. Not a cell phone in sight. And boy, was it a good fucking day to be alive. It was a good fucking day to be alive. Holy shit. It was amazing. You know? It was amazing. I'm on the night train. Bottles up. I'm on the night train. And there's a reason I don't sing for a band. All right? Um, <laughs> Blackened is the end. Winter it was said. Throwing all you see. <laughs> yeah. Good times. Freaking good times. All right. Uh, next uh, next topic. Next quick little thing. You know, I got a little quick things here. Okay? Um, Sharkula. I saw this on one of the, the horror sites. And then I had to grab it and I had to share it. Because these movies are just getting out of hand. And it's a great thing. And they're hilarious. The movie itself is probably god-awful horrible. But, uh, oh yeah, Sebastian. Yeah, the last time, I went to a show, I think last year. Uh, I think I went to Rockville. Was it last year or was it 2020? It might have been before COVID. Was it? Yeah. I. You know what? Have I been to a concert since COVID? Damn, I can't remember, Sebastian. I know if, if I didn't, it was right before COVID. It was right before COVID. So... Yeah, I love going to concerts for sure. It was hot. It was in Daytona, but uh, yeah, Sharkula. I, like I, I want like I know that that's a horrible movie. It's got to be like completely horrible. But man, what, what what if actually like Steven Spielberg? What if Steven Spielberg had nothing to lose? He and he's just sitting in a sea of fucking money, and he's high as a kite on coke. And one night he actually makes a business deal to make Sharkula, you know, and it's a deal that is like signed in blood and he can't get out of it. So he has to make Sharkula. Wouldn't that, wouldn't that be the most amazing thing ever? Dave Vanderoff, what's up, brother? Nice seeing you in here. Wouldn't that be the most amazing thing if Steven Spielberg said he was going to make Sharkula? Would that be the highest grossing movie of all time? Like if it was really that good, like if it was like Steven Spielberg good, why wouldn't it be? right why wouldn't it be i don't know what's up guys you are at the end of the dd live clip uh what i do is i like to clip these out if i think the the topic is important or something that's newsworthy so thank you for watching and uh if you want to watch more you can you can go over here you can go over here click on one of those and uh yeah in uh hopefully i can do this for 20 seconds which i think i did okay so yeah thanks for watching guys